you are working on your public speaking skills. You're making good progress. Then, you get stuck. How can you become a better speaker faster? The answer to that might come from you getting rid of that way biggest myths in public speaking. Myth number one, the audience is your enemy. <laughs> you know what I fear the most when I begin to speak? The audience. <laughs> if I do something wrong, they'll laugh. And if what I say is contrary to what they believe, they attack me with the most dangerous weapon in the world. <laughs> I let this horse please me for nearly five years. One day, I gave a speech in my history class. In the middle, my mind went blank. Guess what they did? They... <laughs> That's when I realized they're on my side. Please help me raise your hand if you can hear. Wilson, I will fail. <laughs> <laughs> This tells you something. The audience is your friend. Period. Myth number two. Great speakers are perfect. Most people tell you when you're good at speaking, you must show complete confidence, speak smoothly, and everyone has to listen to you. <laughs> Last year, I watched a speech by Lance Miller. You should know he won the World Championship of Public Speaking in 2005. When you first come across his speech, you must say, He's perfect. But you know what? If you keep watching it for five times, you know there's something fascinating. There are three moments when the audience laughed when he didn't expect. He did forgot his lines. And three, he stumbled on his words. Thanks to this guy, I learned a tremendous lesson. My speakers are not perfect. Then, why should you? You know what? Why most people can become a speaker they dream about? Because when they make one mistake, they get discouraged. They stop. They let the idea of perfection destroy them. Myth number three. World class speakers are born that way. The year was 2015 and a man named Mohammed Katani outperformed early contestants to win the World Championship of Public Speaking. To make it simple, it's easier for you to win an Olympic gold medal than to win this contest. Guess what most people said about Mohammed? He was lucky to be born with that talent. Before you say anything, let's learn three things about Mohammed. 
He didn't speak until six. His father and sway because of this. He was terrified to talk. Then a teacher told him, speak in front of the entire school. He did. And they laughed. Then Muhammad went back to that stupid teacher. You, 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 you ruined my la 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 la. But that teacher encouraged them to try again and again. Like you, Muhammad was born an ordinary person. It took him practice, hand, and perseverance to become who he wanted to be. That means, like speakers, are not born. Now, my so if you're willing to put in the work, I promise you can also become great. If you want to be a better speaker faster, remember, the audience is your friend. Great speakers also make mistakes, and world-class presenters are great.